We've all seen the pictures in the news and in the movies. A perfectly normal street is all of a sudden completely swallowed by a massive hole that opens in the blink of an eye. But what is really going on here? Stay tuned. This is I Am News, bringing you the very latest in infrastructure asset management. I'm Iphigenia, welcome. It appears that sinkholes open up suddenly, but what is actually happening is a much slower process. Natural sinkholes typically form in areas with certain geological characteristics such as soluble rock formations like limestone, gypsum and salt. Initially, rainwater and groundwater containing weak carbonic acid seeps through the ground. Since it is mildly acidic, it can dissolve and erode soluble rocks over time, creating underground cavities and channels. Underground cavities take thousands or millions of years to form by dissolution, but as they do, the support to overlying soil layers is gradually lost as the void ever so slowly expands. If they are relatively near the ground surface, the stage is set for a sinkhole to form. Finally, when the overlying soil layers that formed the roof to an underground cavity become too thin, too heavy or too weak, they can suddenly collapse. Even though the cavity may have existed for thousands of years, since nobody knew it was there, it appears to open up as a sudden event. In reality, it is just the roof of the void that collapsed to form the depression or hole in the surface known as a sinkhole. The sudden collapse of the ground can cause serious damage to various types of infrastructure. The damage can be costly to repair and cause delays and inconvenience, particularly in the cases of transportation networks such as roads and railways. Remote sensing and geotechnical investigation can play a crucial role in mitigating the negative impacts of sinkholes on infrastructure. Geophysical surveys can detect the underground voids that might lead to sinkholes, while satellite radar data can detect ground subsidence that may be precursors to the collapse of large sinkholes. These are in addition to conventional investigation techniques of boreholes and probing that could confirm the existence of cavities and the right ground conditions for the formation. By integrating remote sensing methodologies and your technical investigation techniques, engineers can gain an understanding of subsurface conditions and create digital maps evaluating the potential risk of sinkholes. So, ever had one of those moments where you wanted the earth to swallow you up? Well, at least now we can see it coming. You've been watching IM News. Join us next time.